Hey, so I thought I'd share in this video what I'm teaching my son about gender. I know that's a really hot topic right now and I just thought I'd share the three core principles that I'm trying to focus on, I'd share them with you as food for thought. Um, so core principle number one that I'm trying to focus on when speaking with my son about gender, he is never trapped in his own body. I often hear that phrase, you know, I'm this trapped in this body. And I want him to know that for so long as he has a voice, he is able in any way, shape, or form to express what his wants and needs are. He will never, ever, ever be trapped inside his own body. Somebody who has a brain injury, who is able to hear the world around them, but has zero ability to interact with it or to express themselves, that person is trapped inside their own body. But anyone who can express themselves in any way, they are never trapped. And so I want to make sure that he never hears that phrase and goes, oh yeah, that's me. I want him to know that feeling uncomfortable in his own skin is not the same as being trapped and that he's going to go through multiple phases in his life where he'll feel uncomfortable in his skin most likely and that that's okay. That can be navigated. He doesn't need to alter his body or, you know, feel like he needs to get out of it somehow. Um, so that takes us into principle number two, because I know there are going to be times where his body won't make sense or he'll be trying to figure out who am I, how do I express myself, instead of thinking about how to change his body, instead he needs to know how to take good care of his body, things that will help him to feel good about being in his own skin. So I want him to learn about good health, things like healthy diet, being physically active so that his body actually feels physically like a good place to be. Also, I want him to be aware of his DNA. He needs to know what chromosomes he has. So he does have an XY chromosome. That means that his body has expressed itself as being male. And so I, what that's going to mean is that as he gets older, there are going to be certain secondary sex characteristics that are going to kick in, and that's going to take him down a certain path during puberty. Um, he's going to have to figure out what his body is doing, and I want him to know during that awkward period where a lot of transition is happening that he has a mom and a dad who love Love him so much and are there to support him to listen um, his body his DNA his chromosomes are going to take his body down a certain path but that's just going to cover some basics you know he is still going to be a unique individual his body is going to be unique he's going to spend his entire life figuring out who he is in that body and so hopefully we'll teach him good things about how to take care of it and hopefully he'll take responsibility for that and make some good decisions too then the last thing, I last principle, I really want to teach him the difference between expressing yourself and defining yourself. I want him to know that as he goes through life, he's going to be different people at different times. I'm not the same person that I was five years ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago, and that's good. Can you imagine if I was the exact same person I was 20 years ago? That would be weird. So you change. You end up being different people. You express yourself in different ways as the years go by. And you know what? If that means at some point that my son wants to wear a dress, he can go nuts in the end. It's just clothing. I don't care. And guess what? A lot of cultures, the guys wear robes. They look like dresses. It's just clothing. So I don't care. If he decides he wants to wear makeup, you know what? Maybe my kid's going to become the next big makeup artist for Hollywood and everybody's going to be after him because he's so good at, you know, the art of makeup. Um, and if that means he ends up experimenting with my lipstick, I don't care. Like, that would be how he'd get started. Um, clothing, makeup. Those can be ways of expressing yourself. They don't define you. For goodness sakes, are you kidding me? Um, putting on makeup would not change his gender or his gender identity. Um, so with all of that, oh my goodness, you know, if you ever worry that maybe somebody's clothing or makeup defines who they are, what gender they are, you need to travel more. Start seeing a few more cultures and you'll start to realize that with all the different clothes and all the different things that people put on their faces and on their bodies, it's just clothing. It just keeps you from being naked. It protects you from the elements. So you're not getting sunburned and windburned all the time. Makeup, are you kidding me? It's just such an amazing way to express yourself. Some people use colors or symbols or just they use it for celebrations. There's so many different meanings behind it. It doesn't affect your gender. So with that in mind, just I, well, here's and one funny thought. Some of our male models that we hold up, think about it, Iron Man, Thor. You know, next time you watch an Avengers movie, just remember all of those guys, they're wearing lipstick, okay? Like we wear makeup, men and women on a regular basis in our culture. So with that in mind, I just hope so much that my son knows, you know what, he's a boy, he's a man, that's the language I'm going to be using. 
that that's a good thing. That's an exciting thing. It's, it's good to be whatever gender he is. Um, and that's just his physical side, you know, who he is on the inside. He's a unique individual and I can't wait to keep getting to know him more and more, find out who he's going to be and find out who all the different people are that he's going to be as he grows up from boy to teen to man. I love him to pieces already and I already think he's awesome. I think he's just going to get more awesome with time. So anyways, those are my thoughts on gender. I'm really interested in your thoughts. Feel free to share your comments or your questions in the bottom and all the best. Bye.